In this video, we are going to see how to create formal looking documents. What we really want is the first page, which is usually the cover page and the table of contents page should not have page numbers. The page numbers should start from page three, but actually the page number should be one. And going one step further, the first page should not show the page number one. Actually, page numbering should start from here with page number two. So let us see how to do this step by step. Now, remember, whenever you want to customize the way page numbers appear or don't appear, we can't do it at page level. We have to do it at section level. So in order to see sections, we have to enable the display. So this is the status bar at the bottom. Right click on it and enable section display. Sections always there, but we don't see them here. So this is section one. Because we are never added sections manually, all our document pages are usually in section one. So now when I go down here, this is the table of contents page and this is where the actual content starts. Now, if I enable this, which is show hide hidden characters, you will notice that this is a page break. What we really want is this shouldn't only just be a new page from here. It should also be a new section. And how do we do that? We go to layout breaks and section break. If you do it from here, which is what we usually do, control enter, that's just a new page. From here, it's new section and new page. So now notice what happened. When I go out, this is a page break and section break and the actual content now starts from section two. Very good. Now I'm going to remove the display of hidden characters to avoid confusion. The issue is now we want to put page numbers either in header or footer. Usually do it in footer. So how do you enable footer or how do you edit footer? Double click in the area where footer should be. And now we are editing the footer. Now let me zoom in to show you what is happening. So here we have footer for section two. Also, we get a menu or a ribbon or tab in the ribbon called header and footer. Now, what is this previous and next? These are sections. So right now, if I click on previous, it's going to show me footer of section one. So I want footer of section one to have nothing and footer of section two onwards to have page numbers. But wait, the moment I type something here, I'm just typing the word demo. Now, if you go to the previous section, it's still there. Why is it there? Because of this setting called same as previous. What is it saying? This footer should be linked to the previous sections footer. That's what link to previous means. And we don't want this setting to be on. So before you type anything in the header, you should disable this setting for the second section. Now this same as previous thing is gone. Now I want to add a page number. Now remember what I want to do. I want to add a page number in the footer. Actually, maybe I have already written the word page and I want this to appear right here. So there is a common mistake we do here. If we say bottom of page and whatever, it will overwrite whatever you have written. You don't want that to happen. So what do you do? Page number current position and then it will work as expected. Fine. Maybe we want it right aligned. No problem. We'll just go and right align it. But still it's page number three. I don't want it to be page number three. I want it to start with one. Why is it page number three? Because physically it is still page number three. The first page is cover page. Second is table of contents. And this is where we are. So it's just counting the physical number of pages, but we don't like that. No problem. Again, go to the header footer tab. 
page number which we have already added but we just want to change its setting format page number and this is where start at one. Now it's, we are almost there but if you really want it to look professional usually the norm is on the first page we don't show the number and the numbering actually starts from the second page and that's just another click. Basically we want to tell word different first page so give it a special treatment. So the moment I do that notice we get a separate footer for section 2 of first page and then the page numbering starts from here exactly as we wanted. So that is how you create formal professional looking documents. So that's it for now. Thank you.